T. Clark here. In this video, we'll explain the 2021 Computer Science A FRQ 3B. So in 3B, we want to um, continue our club members uh, class. So I did A in, uh, already. And even if A is wrong, even if you leave blank, A is blank, um, we can just ignore it for B. B is a separate entire problem, basically. Um, with the same, it has the same club member stuff and the member info from the first page. But we can assume that um, whatever we did for ad members works perfectly. So for part B, it says we're going to write the method remove members. And we're going to do these three, two things. So we're going to return a list of all students who have graduated and are in good standing. So members graduated, the members graduation year is less than or equal to the methods year parameter. So we have a parameter year. So we're going to compare this year versus the removed members year. And we're going to compare that removed members good standing. Um, and if it's not there, the empty list is returned, okay? And then we're also going to remove the member list, all members who have graduated, regardless of whether they are not there in good standing. So we're basically we're clearing the records for that year, and we're going to print out or return the um, members who, are, who have um, graduated and are in good standing. So let's look at the example. So we have this array list of Jane, Steve, Michael, and Maria. Okay, we're going to remove members 2018. So we're going to remove um, Steve and Michael, looks like. So Steve and Michael are gone because they're less than or equal to 2018. But then of the two that we removed, which, which are in good standing, which is true, only Steve. So this is the one that we return. So first things first, because we're returning something, I want to, because I have this uh, type right here, I want to match this type. So I'd write it all out at the beginning. And I like always using result. And I'm going to make a, a new array list. Well, why don't I just copy it again? Oh, well. Paste it again. Okay, and that's how I create an, a new array list with the parentheses, parentheses at the end. And the first part matches the um, other part in the arrow brackets. And then I always want to return results. So again, when you're writing it out, I recommend writing the first thing you want to do is to return is the same type called result, and then return that result at the end before you do anything else, just because it's easy to, easy to forget to return it if you don't get in the habit of doing it right away. And um, yeah, so you'd have this whole page to do it. So at the top, you'd write this and then uh, return at the end. And actually, in the, uh, they give you the class, the member info um, methods, and the club members methods. So you could go all the way back to whatever page has all the information up top, or we could just reference these um, as we write it. Okay, so I'm going to remove members. So whenever I remove something, I always like to go backwards through my for loop. So it's going to be a for loop, but going backwards. So to go backwards, I do the um, list. What's the list called? All the way top, member list. Okay, I got a list over here, member list. So member list dot size and then minus one that's the last one i'm going all the way until zero and i'm going backwards so it's minus minus so when i'm removing something it's easiest to go backwards that way you don't have to remember oh do i have to do a minus minus inside the if or after the if or where do i put it no just go backwards and that takes care of the um shifting left and i going to the right we're all just going to the left through the uh, list. Okay, so now I want to say, what's the condition say? Return a list of all students who have graduated and are good standing. Um, but we want to remove the list. So I want to remove the list um, who have graduated based on the year or less than year. So I'm going to look at the current member. So if the current member. So member list dot get I. If their graduation year, so I'm going to look and say, okay, how to get the graduation year? Oh, it's just get grad year. Okay, so get grad year. If I could type, okay, I want to see if that's less than or equal to, right? So 2017 or 2018, um, the year parameter. So make sure if they have a parameter in the problem, you're make, making sure you're reusing it. I don't want to put 2018. If I put 2018, that's, oh, my thumb lock's not even on. What the heck? If I put 2018, um, that's wrong. That's just the example. So I want to actually be using this year in my method. Okay, so what I want to do if 
Um, that member is old, I guess, older than 2018, then I want to remove it. But notice how when you remove something using a list, it removes that element at I, so I'm gonna remove I, and it returns that element. So I'm gonna get um, that member, oh, member, no, member. Let's make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Okay, so member list, I'm going to say, I'm going to get a temporary member that's being removed. So member list dot remove, remove I, remove the current um, member, and temporarily store it. So I'm going to do some stuff. I'm going to say, is that member in good standing? So if that temporary member is in, so how to do it in good standing? Is it just in good standing? Yeah, it's not is, it's just in good standing. So I always want to make sure I'm typing it out, writing it out according to what the problem says. So temp in good standing, I make sure you have the parenthesis parenthesis because it's a method. So if it, the member is in good standing, I want to return that list. So I need to add it. So now I have that result. So I'm gonna say, okay, my result, I'm adding that member, that temporary member that I removed. I don't add it, it goes away after the, well, after the iteration. But if it is in good standing, it'll add it. So I think that's it for part 3B. Let's, make, let's see if my runner is true, 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 matches what it says up there. Oh, no, because I don't know how to spell. Yeah, I should have pasted it. Oh, well, that's why I copy and paste. Okay, so I have all my, all four, like normal, and then I have just Jane and Maria. And then the true one is Steve, so it looks like it worked. And you can also run the, uh, the unit tests to see if you passed. But for now, yeah, that should work for 3B.